Okay. So the instruction for step number five reads as follows. It says we need to widen column A to 108 pixels and then widen column B to F to uh, 115 pixels. Okay. So let us go to our working document and implement uh, this part here. This part here. And then we'll come back to the instructions file. Okay. So we look, we wanna, we wanna widen this entire column. Okay. So what you do is you click on the letter here, click on the letter A. Okay. Then you move your mouse until it changes to this uh, icon here. And then press and hold. Uh, and then look at the information that's been displayed there for week. At the moment, we are on 91 pixels. Okay, keep on widening it until you get to 80 pixels. Okay, 180 pixels or not. Okay, once you get to 180, you let go, and then this column here is now 180 pixels. Okay, the next instruction told us that we need to widen these ones from B to F, uh, each to be. 115 pixels okay so you you can do that you can do the same procedure okay uh, click and hold move it to 115 pixels okay uh, as you can see there uh, 115 pixels is equals to uh, 13.75 so if we wanna if you want to do like a shortcut you can just highlight the remaining cells and then go to format, and then look for column width, and then uh, write it in 0.75. Uh, we got this from the from what we just did now. 13.75. Okay. So if you do that, you will notice that if you come here and check, you'll see the width is uh, 115 pixels, which is the correct width. Okay. So let's go back to the instructions file. Okay, uh, after doing this, what do they want us to do now? They say if if any row, if any columns, I mean, if any columns are too narrow to display all the data, apply auto fit to the column. In the range B7 to D7, enter the monthly sales figures for the uh, tilting cattle for January, February, and March as follows. Okay. So you need to be careful with this. Uh, it depends on your machine. If you have set your machine to use uh, full stop here instead of comma, uh, you need to copy the information uh, and then uh, do not change this to comma. Uh, uh, as you can see here, I've already changed mine. Instead of uh, full stop here, I've replaced the full stop with commas. If you look at the original instructions, there was a full stop here, okay? Uh, but that is no longer the case because I've changed mine because my system is set to use commas instead of what? Of full stop to rep represent decimals, okay? So just copy this, uh, copy this text here, and then uh, we, said in, uh, we need to insert it for the tilting cattle. Uh, click on this one here. You can can enter the, the data uh, uh, directly like this. Okay, shouldn't be a problem. Uh, my computer is a bit slow. Okay, or you can just uh, select the cell where you wanna paste it, and then let me show you. After selecting that cell, you you paste your text here instead of pasting it there, and it actually faster if you do that your system responds faster okay so we need to add the last one here uh, you copy the text and then uh, you click here the paste here uh, my system becomes a little bit faster if I do that okay then after doing this okay we basically done with step number five okay let us move on to step number six.